Hey guys, it's Yonka Sims here and I am back with another speed build. So this one's I guess different in a way again. Um no modern build yet. Um it should be up soon, <laughs> hopefully. Um but I wanted to do something different still. Um what I build really depends just on what I feel inspired to do, I suppose, and this was it this time. Um, so in Granite Falls, which if you don't know is the world that came with Outdoor Retreat, so it's a holiday world, you cannot visit it unless you're actually on holiday. Uh, and we are building a spa, which I guess is obvious from the title, um, all of that. But I will say so anyways. <laughs> um, so yeah, it's a spa in Granite Falls and um, I saw someone else had built a spa in Granite Falls. The thing is, I looked at what they had built and it was pretty nice, but it was really modern. And I've done a spa build in the past and it was also a very modern build and I loved it. But it doesn't fit the aesthetic of Granite Falls and it just made me realize like, hey, you know what? Let, let's do a Granite Falls spa build, but then make it fit the aesthetic of the world. Um, so that's what I did. It's just, uh, I don't know. It's like if I was playing this is the spa I would want to go to um, in Granite Falls. Something that actually fits the whole camping national park kind of feel. Um, so yeah. Another thing is that I try to limit the expansion of stuff packs and things that I've used in this pa in this build because this is a thing I used to do all the time and I, I kind of forgot about it more recently. Um, I just started using whatever all the time because it's a lot of fun being able to just build with whatever and there's a lot of things in the game that you can do if you use different packs. Um, so I wanted to try that. Um, it didn't quite work as planned. Um, you'll see I start off here using just a spa day and outdoor retreat pack because that that makes sense um, considering the build. But that didn't last long. I realized I wanted to put in a hot top which meant that I needed the outdoor retreat pack and then there were some things that I wanted from the vampires pack and there were a few things that I really wanted from the city living pack so I ended up using all of those. Um, it's still sort of limited I suppose, I didn't use everything in the game um, but it, it, there's definitely quite a bit of stuff in there that I, I didn't plan on using initially when I started building um, but I think I think it's okay. I will do another build in the very near future with very limited stuff packs. Um, it will probably end up being the get to work stuff pack because someone on Twitter asked for it and it's the oldest expansion pack so I'm guessing a lot of people will have it like of all the stuff pack that's prob uh, of all the expansion packs the stuff packs that's probably the one that people will have so I, I like this idea. Um, so yeah that will be up soon hopefully um, whenever I get around to building it. Um, so that's also a thing. I've started working on my thesis again. It's It's been a while <laughs> I'm afraid um, but it's really time that I actually finish school. Um, so there may be a few less builds but at the same time I'm also just kind of inspired to do builds currently which happens every time I try to go do useful things in life. I, I get inspiration to do builds. Um, yeah, it's not great, um, but at the same time I, I do also quite enjoy having inspiration for builds. So, I don't know, there will be less builds possibly, but also possibly not, just depending on how things go. Um, but just a heads up that there might be less videos. If you want to keep up to date then follow me on Twitter, I'm sure there will be updates about whether or not there will be videos in the near future. Um, so yeah, I'm just going around building the outside. There's not much I can say about the outside except for there was this part of flat roof that I didn't really want to be flat but 
I couldn't really make a roof fit and then Nienda the kind of just figured maybe it's an extension of the build and that's why it's the flat roof because the flat roof doesn't really fit the aesthetic of the rest of the build but it, it works. And then I'm just building the lobby here which is always the trickiest part for me to build because one there's nothing that I have to put in here except for possibly the counter which it's just what I feel should be in there, but there's no like actual gameplay items that I have to put in there. And two is that this is where I put the whole aesthetic of the build together, so this is definitely the part that takes longest to build. Um, which is fine. It's just really frustrating when you're actually building. <laughs> um, but yeah, this this little area here will set the aesthetic for the rest of the build, and I think it ends up looking kind of okay. It's uh, It's a little bit weird. I, I will say that much already. There's a few things in there that are definitely a bit strange. Um, but overall I think it works out fine. Um, so I think at this point I was still using um, limited stuff packs. I think I just stuck with the Spade Outdoor Retreat and Patio thingies. But that won't last. Um, oh actually no, I already used the vampire flooring because I realized that I wanted to use some of the um, like ivy and things that you can put on the wall. Which meant that I could either use the vampire stuff pack or the um, get together pack. That's what it's called, right? Get together? I think so, yeah. Um, and I realized that I also really like this flooring from the vampires pack so I ended up going with that pack over the other one um, and then here I wanted to put in like a little pond or something and it just it, it wasn't working so I had to use a pool instead of the fountain tool and I, I just I put it in and you'll see me I, I put rocks around it and everything and I'll just go you know what I do not like this <laughs> and I just delete it and I try a few other things but I like even though this looks quite nice it doesn't fit the aesthetic of the build again it's just a very modern thing to do I think to have a fountain inside and um, waterfalls same kind of thing um, it wasn't really working um, you'll see me make like a fake garden inside um, again same same thing doesn't really fit the aesthetic um, works in a modern build not so much this one so putting in <laughs> some landscaping and just go, you know what, this looks ridiculous, let's not put that in. Um, so I just take it back and I'm like, okay, you know what, this is a lobby, what do we have in the lobby? Um, let's put in some seats because maybe it's really busy and people have to wait or something. Um, so I start putting in some seats. Um, and it's very nice, vibrant color wood. Um, I figured I should add some of the light wood in there as well, just so that the build wouldn't get too dark. Um, so while the walls and the flooring upstairs are very dark wood, most of the furniture is more of a light color wood, because it fits better. Um, and then I do a silly thing of putting a fire pit inside, which, yes, I, I know it's ridiculous. Um, but I saw it in a picture on like Google Images, I think. Um, and I went, you know what, this looks really cool, I kind of like it. Um, and now I know that it's probably not the safest thing. And I can just already see the entire lobby flooded with smoke. But I like it. <laughs> and it fit in there perfectly. So I figured, you know what, let's just, let's just do it anyways. Um, and then we have these candle thingies from the spider pack that fit perfectly in between columns if there were two squares and I liked it so much that I figured I had to use it. Um, so you see me use that a couple times in this build. Um, I think mostly downstairs, not so much upstairs. Um, but I really like that they fit so perfectly between the columns. Um, you don't really see it too well because I'm building at night time for some reason. I think I was just trying to figure out how much light I needed. Um, the one sucky thing about the candle holder wall divider slash whatever it is is that they don't actually give off much light, which I guess is fair. Candles candles don't generally produce a lot of light, but it was kind of a pain. Um, figuring out what kind of plants to put over there. Um, 
I wasn't feeling curtains, so there's no curtains unless it's like a bathroom kind of area. Um, <clears throat> yeah, and then putting in some lotrates. Um, it's a good thing I ended up using the silly living pack because I realized that otherwise those those lot ways would not actually show up. Um, but yeah, it's there. <laughs> it's a thing I need to remember to do with more of my builds, but I don't generally look at the lot panel because when you're just building a house, it doesn't matter too much. But for this one, I kind of had to think about what I needed. Um, so I I noticed it and I was like, okay, let's put in some lots, right? So it could be fun. Um, so here we have some locker rooms and I wanted to put in some bathrooms as well. And it was very cramped. <laughs> um, so you'll see me in a second. I'll change it up and I'll make these two kind of toilet stalls in each of the bathrooms into one bathroom instead. Where we have a sink and a toilet in there. So that the locker area is a bit more spacious and not so cramped. Um, I end up putting in a seat so I guess that there's still very little space but the seat made sense because maybe you know you have to put on your shoes or something and people suck at putting on their shoes while standing up. Um, putting on some mirrors and things. Um, but yeah I figured the seat would make sense. Putting in a decoration in like a pink and a blue to, to to go with the whole male female thing, which I I really dislike doing, but it happened. So there you go. Um, and this is where I started looking at okay, where can I put all the different kind of items that came with this spa day pack? What do we need in this build to make it a spa? Um, you'll see that I realized really quickly that I don't actually have um, space inside to put the yoga mat thingy because the um, the instructor's yoga mat is quite big. Um, that was a problem. I just said that. I was like, ah, why that th that happened? Oh, I have to think of another way to do this. And I end up putting it outside. And same with meditation stools or whatever they're called. They they are outside, but they're outside upstairs on the deck. Um, awkward, maybe a little bit. Um, but the build, I was afraid initially that I'd make it too big and I realized as I was building some of this, this that actually it really wasn't that big. Um, but it's, it's a nice kind of size I think. Um, there's definitely some things you could change if you want to put some things inside instead of outside but we'll, we'll get to that when we, you know, actually get to these rooms and all that. Um, so downstairs here we have um, okay so but <laughs> I get so distracted by these videos sometimes looking at them myself so we needed showers um, which made me remember that we need like mud beds and things so we have these two rooms here that have showers and a bathtub and a sink because the sink made sense to me and then these are kind of the mud bed areas. So we have um, some side tables here that we have some decorations on so that it actually looks like not just the bathroom. <laughs> um, and then you put a mirror above it and we put some decorations on there. Um, this really cute light from the outdoor retreat pack that I haven't used in way too long because it's adorable. Um, I completely forgotten about this light and you see one of my favorites. Um, it looks like a flower kind of thing but it's a light, it's great. Um, and then we have um, this lotus tree light I suppose in the corner. Um, yeah, just putting some lights around the place. Um, and again, we need some blinds in this room I suppose. You don't want people to look in while you're Having your mod bed, or at least maybe getting into the mod bed, this may be more of the problem. Um, but yeah, we fi I figured let's, let's change that a bit. Um, and then I started messing around with carpets, and this is where I realized I really wanted to use a fluffy carpet because it made sense to me in this kind of cabiny feel, um, though not necessarily in the bottom. 
and I realized, damn it, they came with a pack. Um, they came with like either the vintage glamour stuff pack or the city living pack, and I realized, um, damn it, I wasn't supposed to use those, but I really wanted to use the the fluffy carpet, so I ended up using it anyways because there were also a few other things in that pack that really fit the kind of aesthetic I was going for. Um, I ended up using a lot of the Lotus candle holders. Um, so yeah, that, I, I definitely make use of the pack. It's not that I put in one thing and that's it. Um, but yeah, I think it, 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 I needed it kind of in a way, so that that's why I used it. I, I will do better <laughs> in the future with limiting packs that I use. I guess that was just not not for this will. Um, yeah. Um, what am I looking for now? I'm, I'm curious. I think I'm just looking for things to put around the place. Um, and I'm looking at the city living pack because I knew I wanted to use this carpet and I figured okay if there's more things that I can use from this pack then I can use this pack. Um, and I, I realized there were definitely some things I could use so here we are um, using this pack and we have a little room with these massage chairs which I guess you can get like hand and foot massages in um, something like that and it has fireplace and I could finally use <laughs> the one mirror that fits above a fireplace um, one of my pet peeves in this game is that there's no no mirrors that really fit above a fireplace except for the outdoor retreat one which doesn't fit most of the aesthetics for most of the buildings they're very cabiny like and it, it works for this build it, it works perfectly for this build but not for most other builds so that was kind of a struggle um and i'm just looking at at, uh, at the spa day rooms that the sims has made just to see what else i could do in these rooms um, so I put in a couch, I realized maybe it's just also a nice place to sit and hang out at the fireplace. Um, I'd love a fireplace, but I'm pretty sure that fireplaces are banned in a lot of places these days, so I don't know if that will ever happen. <laughs> um, but yeah, I put some side tables behind the couch just to put in some decorations. Um, I remember struggling. We needed more light in the back here. Um, looked at some wall lights, which wasn't working, and I think I ended up using some more um, of those fake um, plant lights. Yes, and then just putting some more small decorations in there. Mostly from the spa day pack because those made the most sense to me. Um, changing some colors and I think that's about it. I put in one more decoration, these benches that I was going to say a plant but it's not really a plant, plant let's face it. Um, and then we have this little area here and the hallway which I was like okay what can I actually put in this hallway? I considered sinks for some reason which wasn't really working. Uh, I considered a fish tank, which I really liked, and then I realized, you know what, this would be the perfect size to put one of those waterfalls that came with the spa day pack. Um, I said earlier that they were too modern for this build, and it's still kind of too, but it fit so nicely in there that it kind of worked. Um, and you'll see me put in some... Um, a seat, like... Uh, from the outdoor retreat pack and it kind of works in that way I got distracted again sorry but yeah it works in this way and I liked it and we end up still putting in the fish tank because I just struggled a lot with what to put into this area um because I was looking here at putting in a bar um and, and like musical instruments for some reason um, the bar wasn't fitting, I, I just, I wasn't feeling it. I, I, I tried to put it at the end of the hallway, but again, just, it wasn't working. There was not enough space to put a bar. Um, and we have the spa day bar upstairs, as you get up the stairs. So I figured we really don't need another bar. Um, so I put in a fish tank. And then at the end here we put like a seat and a guitar, I think. 
again, the guitar, a musical instrument, it's maybe a bit weird, but at the same time, the guitar kind of fits with the whole outdoor retreat pack vibe. Um, putting in another fluffy carpet, because fluffy carpets are pretty cool. And that's about it for the downstairs area, and then we go upstairs. So these two rooms here are massage rooms with actual full tables. Um, I uh, I got so annoyed by the fact that I couldn't make them the same size, the rooms. Um, which means that one of them is a bit fancier than the other one. But I'm okay with it. <laughs> I am okay with this. Um, so again, trying to use some of the lighter colored wood as well. And in this room we have um, another candle thingy as a wall divider. I considered putting in another column, but it it made the space feel too cramped. I felt like it blocked off the actual massage table itself, so I so I removed the column and just had the candles there like that. Um, and again, another fluffy carpet because they're pretty cute. <laughs> so this other one is pretty much the same. It just doesn't have the candle room divider thingy. Um, and we end up using some of these paintings that came with the CD Living Pack. Um, like they have paintings, they have these um, kind of banner-like thingies. I don't know what they're called. I'm sure they have a name, but I don't know what they're called. Um, and I ended up using those just as a decoration pieces and they worked really well. Um, I considered putting in another massage room, but then I realized we didn't really have bathrooms yet except for the two that we had downstairs which we have like one for males and one for females um so we put in some bathrooms here that just i guess unisex bathrooms which is a bit strange but it just it, it worked for this kind of area nothing special about it really but it was there um then i realized we didn't have an area with gym equipment yet um it's a very small room where i have them in um, I'm just going around putting speakers in every room pretty much right now, but yeah, um, the, the gym area, it's, it's not the best gym area, but I didn't have too much space to work with, um, and this is definitely one room where if you want to, say, put the meditation thingies inside, this would probably be where I would put them instead of having the gym, um, but at the same time, I figured we should have a gym in here in case you want to use it. But if you don't, then obviously that's something you should be able to change quite easily yourself. Um, so you have a sauna, of course. Um, I considered putting some things next to the thingy itself, but it wasn't really working. So I banked the room a bit smaller and put some things around the place. Um, so these lotus candle holders that I absolutely loved for this build. Um, are all over the place. We have something on the back wall. I can't quite remember what, but I'm sure I put something on there. Um, ah, just one of the metal thingies. And a drink tray. I put some drink trays around the place. Um, yeah, that's pretty good, I think. And then I think it, we need some tables and chairs and all that in this area where we have the bar. Um, Considered using different tables, but uh, I, I just stuck with the spade ones that made sense to me. Um, there's not a lot of decorations and things in this area, but I didn't know what else to put in here. Um, so I think I put... Did I put a wall thingy? Yeah, I put a wall banner thingy on the wall and that was about it. Um, and I think this is where I start here on the outside and we do the meditation area. Um, so I really like how this turned out. Um, it's it's quite small. There's only two meditation thingies and there's really not too much to it, but I really liked how it looked. Um, and you'll see me put in sheets every once in a while because I tend to build my builds in, in, in parts so people some people build their builds in one time, in one go. I don't I, I keep going back to it and taking a break and going back to it, which 
it's good and bad at the same time because I always want to change everything <laughs> and at the same time I don't so it's I don't know I, I quite enjoy building and then maybe editing some small things but yeah um the meditation area I use some of these wooden thingies which I absolutely love I just wish they were like a tile kind of for some things but at the same time I don't so I don't know um, but yeah, we have these two meditation stools, um, we have one of the fountain thingies, and then we have these fake fountain steps that I love using as a kind of a, a, as a surface to put things on. So I generally put on these um, lotus scented thingies, um, which I end up changing because I realized that they were kind of small to put on there. Um, so you see me putting on in some of these lotus candle, candle holders and I realized, you know what, if I just move that there and instead put these candle holders on there, they fit so much better and I liked it um, a lot better than what I had before. So I had those on there, um, put another lotus thingy <laughs> in there. Um, there's a lot of lotus flower things in here, that, that's one thing that's for sure. Um, and then just putting some decorations here next to the other seat that I had. Um, and then putting some landscaping things on, on the trellises above here. Um, this was always the plan. Um, and this is also where you see that I really wanted to use some of the ivy and things on the building itself. I don't think I put it in many more places than just on this side. which. I don't know, I just didn't really feel like it, but I wanted it to be there. Um, and this is where I just start with the rest of the outside build. Um, so obviously there's a pool, there is a, um, I think there's a lake slash river just behind this building. Um, so I figured a pool would be good. Um, and just like inside the waterfall fit in there too perfectly to not put it in. Um, but I also wanted to put in another kind of waterfall. So I ended up using these tables and chairs from the outdoor retreat pack, sizing them up and making a waterfall feature in here, um, which I think looks really cute. And just trying to make it not look ridiculous, which isn't the easiest thing to do. Uh, I, I prefer the normal walks over these, but these work very well if you try to make a like a bigger kind of waterfall in a pool and not just a pond, I suppose. So yeah, um, you'll see me combine them. Here you go, just as I say that. Um, I start adding some normal walks as well and it just makes it a little bit better. So unlike when I build a normal fountain kind of rivery pond or thingies in, in buildings, um, I don't put walks all over the place. Um, I, I figured that would be too much. Instead, I just put them in, I guess you can say, strategic places. They're not really strategic, they're kind of just random, but just putting them in places and making sure there's still some not covered by walk edges as well, um, which I think works better for like pools. So I liked it. Uh, and then just putting some landscaping around there as well. It just makes it look more reasonable, more like realistic. It, it doesn't look quite as ridiculous <laughs> when we have some landscaping there as well. Um, and then some trees help, of course, too. Um, I think I ended up just using the trees that came with the outdoor retreat pack, which wasn't necessarily the plan. Um, but I forgot to put in other trees. <laughs> Um, and just putting some more walks over here again. Um, I was afraid they would block the door, but I, uh, they didn't. I checked it, they didn't. It's fine. Um, and then just putting some more walks again over here. And then some landscaping probably, I'm guessing. Yes, of course. Um, and then I think we'll probably start on the yoga area um, after I do some more things. Oh right, I put in another fire pit and as I said, a hot tub because it's a spa, we need a hot tub. Um, and I figured it would make most sense here at the pool. Um, 
but yes, as I said, the yoga area, um, which I felt had to be on like a wooden platform thingy, but I wasn't feeling the tiles, so I ended up using the, those things from the spade pack, which were pain the place because you have to basically alt alt click everything. Um, so I cut that out, so I didn't have to commentate over it, and you didn't have to watch it <laughs> um, because it takes a while and. It, I don't want to make you sit through two minutes of me just placing those things. That that's no fun to watch. Um, I I I don't want to watch it, so I'm guessing you guys don't want to read it. <laughs> um, so instead, I just cut that out, and you can see the end was all instead, and it looks pretty good. I, as I said, I kind of wish they were a tile that we could use as well, just so that this would be easier. But I like it anyways. It's fine. Um, and then just finishing off the build with some landscaping, um, which I thought was very important for this build in particular because we are in a national park, supposedly. Um, so yeah, just going around, putting in landscaping, mostly using the outdoor retreat things because they fit in with the rest of the world that we are in. Um, so if you want to go to this place, on a regular basis, like if you download this and you want your sims to go to this, you might not want to put it in um, Granite Falls just because that means you can only use it if you are actually on holiday. But at the same time, I don't know, I, I, I built it for Granite Falls, so that's where it fits in best. But if you want to visit it on a regular basis, then place it somewhere else is basically what I'm saying. Just, just an FYI. Um, and otherwise this is a nice place to go to on your one holiday. Um, putting some rocks around the place and some lights, making sure that the touring paint again fits in the general world of Granite Falls. Um, putting a light above the sign with the cute mascot, I forgot his name, I keep forgetting his name, I feel so bad about it. Um, but yeah, just putting some lights around the place, making sure that the outside area and the back is lit up and then you can see the door. And that's it, I think. Yes, we are in the screenshots. Um, so as always, if you want to use this, download the link below. Um, again, as I said, if you want to put this in Granite Falls, great, but you can only go to it if you are actually on holiday. So keep that in mind if you place it. Um, and yeah, that's it. So if you... Oh, not if you. As always, <laughs> let me know what you want to see me build next, and that's it. So I will talk to you next time. Bye, guys!